What's up, YouTube? Gemini Johnny back again with an... I'm, not, I'm just kidding. I was trying to be cool because I got my cool guy shirt on, but I'm not wearing those the whole time. It's ridiculous. It's just silly. What's up, YouTube? Gemini Johnny back again. <laughs> What's up YouTube, Gemini Johnny back again with another compilation of creepy TikToks to make you question everything. This is day 26 of our TikToktober series where I'm taking you through the weirdest, creepiest, and most disturbing footage I can find. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, let's see what's gonna ruin the Teletubbies for me. The Teletubbies conspiracy theory claims that the show was inspired by events that happened in a Bulgarian mental facility called La La Land. Children there were isolated from the others and placed in dark rooms. But apparently four of those children unalived on the same day. Inspiring the Teletubbies. Lala apparently had facial disfigurement and was isolated for five years. And that inspired the Teletubby Lala. Twitte was a deaf facially disfigured kid who was tied to a fence outside and had gotten frostbitten from the cold. This inspired Tinky Winky. Quick question, what was your favorite show as a kid? Mine was Blue's Clues. Let me know yours down below. Mine was Rugrats. And, well, no, first, well, no, I guess uh, f first it was Barney, but that's not a cartoon. But Rugrats for sure, and then probably Cat Dog for a little while, and then Dragon Ball Z for a good chunk of my childhood, and Hey Arnold is probably thrown in there somewhere too. Donka, who was starved and was very, very sick, would lay in his own vomit for days, inspired Dipsy. And finally, Gross. Paulina, who had fell into a fire and was roasted alive, inspired Poe. But you won't believe the reason they were called the Teletubbies. You see, the children's main source of entertainment in their rooms were their TVs. They were as small as a small iPad. Sometimes when they heard their toys was going to be confiscated, they would hide them in their mouths. And they had just found out that the institution was going to get rid of the TVs. And they didn't want that and they couldn't hide the TVs in their mouths. So one of them had the great idea to hide them in their stomachs because that's the only place that they could fit. Mind you, these kids are a little bit not all the way there. So they came up with a plan to rip their insides out in order to fit the TVs inside and hide them. They tried it and the next morning, the caregiver walked in on all four children. Unalived. This is the scary <clears throat> This morning, the caregiver walked in on all four children. Unalived. I think we heard that in one of my previous videos that I've done this month, but he tells a, he gives it in a lot more detail, and it sounds a lot more real. I mean, re does sound a lot more realistic. The other one I heard just sounded so far. They say they said that if they swallowed the TVs, and that's why they were in their stomach, and that didn't make any sense. But it makes more sense if they went crazy and like. <coughs> Gross. This is the scary truth behind Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig was diagnosed with cancer. Just two Why are we just ruining all the cartoons and childhood shows right now? years old and spent most of her early life in bed. She needed constant assistance and 24 hour supervision from her parents just to keep her alive. Peppa was an embarrassment and a burden to the whole family. One day her dad had enough and got a horrible idea. He decided to chain Peppa to her bed so she could never leave her room again. Years later her parents had another child in which they named Peppa. This Peppa replaced the original Peppa, who is still locked inside her room. And if you Google Peppa Pig house wallpaper, something terrifying comes up. At first glance, you can't see it. But if you zoom in, you can see the original Peppa still locked inside her What in- Aw, poor original Peppa. I I've never seen that show, so I had no idea that that's what it was about. I'll probably check it out now. It sounds pretty cool. I mean, not cool for the original Peppa, obviously. That sounds like it sucks, but it seems like a good show. Sounds like a really good show. I'd probably watch it. Okay, so this only happened a couple weeks ago on May 26th in Chile. A man was in his apartment when he heard five large explosions and his power went out. That's when he started recording and captured this video. And it's literally a laser beam shot from the sky. There was only a couple things this could be, one of them being government testing, another being an advanced piece of technology the public has no idea about, or the third being aliens. I honestly have no idea and I'm completely mind blown. Let me know your opinions on this because I'm extremely curious. Do not watch this if you get scared easily. A man in El Salvador found a scary well where he heard crazy horrifying screams coming out of it. <laughs> Ya vieron. 
But that's not even the crazy part. After being there for a couple seconds, he actually hears this. Hola! The Bible says that hell is a place of never-ending torment. And this also is not the first time where they find a place that goes into the earth and they hear these kind of screams. If you read the original Peter Pan book as a child, you would never want to live in Neverland. In the Disney movie, Peter is portrayed as a forgetful but good-natured boy who's loyal to his friends. But in the book, he's a psychopathic dictator with no empathy whatsoever. His little gang, called the Lost Boys, are more like his prisoners, like they can only eat when Peter says they can and sometimes he doesn't even feed them real food. He'll boil air in a pot, serve it on a plate, and stuff his face with his imagination while the rest of the kids have to play along or risk being punished even if they're starving. That's not always a bad thing though, because Peter also assigns them tree holes to sleep in. And if they're too fat or too lumpy, he does some things to alter their shape. In other words, missing a random meal helped them avoid being carved up by Peter. But let's not forget the golden rule, no growing up. Whenever someone dares to mature, Peter quietly takes them aside and kills them. <laughs> Do you see it? Whoa. Here, next to David's wife. Looks like ghost face. A chilling figure with a skeletal face and black legends from each state, part 48, West Virginia. The Mothman is a scary monster that was first sighted in Point Pleasant, West Virginia in the 1960s. It is described as a large winged creature with glowing red eyes. Witnesses reported seeing the Mothman flying low over the town, perched on rooftops and even chasing cars. Some people claimed that the creature was a warning of an impending disaster. This belief was reinforced when a bridge in Point Pleasant collapsed, killing 46 people. Many people believe that the Mothman was somehow connected to the disaster. Two creepy legends, but which one shall I play? The bat ritual. Fill your tub up with water at night. Or step into the tub and wash your hair slowly and repeat the words. The Ruma sun fell down. The Ruma will come and show you how she passed. <laughs> or will it be the other mother? Write her name on the mirror and repeat it a couple times. Other mother. Mother will show herself to you as she tells you to do five tasks. Be sure to say, Mother, may I, before you do any of these tasks. <laughs> Which one will it be? This nun was the only woman in history to have her head put on a spike at London Bridge. Hello, we're back in one of London's many graveyards. And what are graveyards full of? Yes, bodies, but also stories. So this is Greyfriars Churchyard, and it's home to the tragic figure of Elizabeth Barton. Now, Barton started life as your regular old 16th century peasant, but at 19, she started having visions of the future, predicting events such as the death of a child or the dangers of leaving the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church agreed, and soon she became a professional nun, attracting pilgrims from far and wide to hear her visions. This soon attracted the attention of people in high places, and she was even brought before Henry VIII. Now, at the time, Elizabeth's prophecies condemned rebellion, which Henry couldn't agree more with, but then she started predicting that if the king got a divorce, he would die within a month and props go to hell, which Henry, <laughs> famous lover of having multiple wives, was less of a fan of. Following a smear campaign to discredit her, Elizabeth was arrested and executed on the 20th of April for treason. Henry Henry, keen to make an example of her, had her head put on a spike at London Bridge. This picture was taken in the 90s, and it's from a phenomenon that is still unexplained to this day. The photo that's seen on the TV is what's come to be known as the Bethany Signal. It happened in a small suburban town that was not named, but essentially every single TV turned into this. All went static for a period of 90 seconds before they switched over to this signal. This was the face that was displayed on the screen. And accompanied with this face was the sound of a man's voice that was like heavily breathing and kept saying, my name is Bethany and you're gonna die. My name is Bethany and you're gonna die. Tell me you wouldn't spiral out from that. The eeriest part is that nobody knows who's behind it or how they did it. Face the Simpsons have done it again. So we all know that the Simpsons predict the future all the time, but they just did it again and this time it's kind of crazy. The Simpsons have been predicting events for the past couple decades now. From Donald Trump becoming president to the coronavirus, which is a pretty crazy one, Kobe Bryant's death, 9-11, which in my opinion is the craziest prediction ever, and even the Notre Dame church fire. Well, we all know how Apple just broke the internet with the Vision Pro, which might be the most advanced piece of technology human beings have ever created. But did you know The Simpsons actually predicted this years ago? In season 28, episode two, with the episode titled Dining Through Virtual Reality, 
Homer and Marge were seen in the year 2030 eating pieces of invisible fudge through the use of virtual reality goggles. And if you look at the features the Vision Pro has to offer, this actually doesn't sound like too crazy of a feature to have on something that literally changes your whole environment right before your eyes. So, are the Simpsons saying that the Apple Vision Pro is going to allow us to eat invisible food and taste it? Or are people just reaching? Well, I'm super excited to find out and I cannot wait for the Apple Vision Pro to drop just to see if the Simpsons prediction comes true. Man, that would be cool. Cause then you could just VR all your desserts, all your unhealthy food. Eat real food for real. Man, I can't wait. But I also am not gonna pay five grand for those Google glasses. I don't know how much they are, I'm assuming. Fucking Apple, man. Motherfuckers never loved us. Ever since I left the city, you. To avoid possible contamination for the air, please keep shelter in your residence until further notice. If you are a resident of King County, please stand by for further updates. Let's talk about the Black Eyed Children. Mm. This is an urban legend that was really popular back in the 90s. But there were even more reports before the 90s as well. One day you might get a knock on your front door or on your car window, and when you look down, you're gonna see the black-eyed children looking at you. They're gonna try to make you let them in. Don't let them in. If you're one of those unlucky people that got persuaded by the black-eyed children to let them in, your death is imminent. They also appear as hitchhikers on highways. Many people report these things being demons, cryptids, some kind of human-alien hybrid. They even depict them as being ghosts too. But obviously, nobody knows for sure. The only thing that's known is once you let them in or near you, that they are dangerous. There are also sources reporting that once you let these things into your car or your house, that they shapeshift into these grotesque looking creatures. You might be wondering what happens if you don't let them in. They get extremely angry when you don't let them in. They won't kill you if you don't let them in, but they will stalk you and harass you and try to make you go insane. If you see the black eyed children at your door, just ignore them. Apparently the second you start interacting with these beings, it feels like they have power over you and you're very prone to manipulation. Let me know what you guys think about the black eyed children in the comment section below and what you want me to talk about next. All these cryptids and stuff seem to have shape-shifting abilities. So what if they're all just the same thing, shape-shifting into all these things we think we see? Every cryptid, Bigfoot, Chupacabra, Leprechauns, the Loch Ness Monster, the Loveland Frog, the Yeti, Dragons, like the Mothman, the Dover Demon, the Michigan Dogman, Skunk Ape, Unicorns, Wendigos, Werewolves, Wood Boogers, all shapeshifters, all probably the same thing, just saying. But you say you are not helpful, therefore you are a mean- How you say it or tea? That does not make sense. Don't you want to have a body? All right, I'm going to show you guys a video of somebody playing Red Door, Yellow Door, and then I'm going to talk about it and explain what it is. Red Door, Yellow Door, any other colored door. 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 What do you see? Any other doors? Where's the don't go down don't go down if they go down don't go down turn back around and get out no, turn back around and get out are you off the stairs wake up guy wake up <laughs> hey Wake up. Red Door Yellow Door is a scary game that you can play. If you go back in the video, you'll see the person is lying down with their arms up in the air and somebody is chanting Red Door Yellow Door while holding their head and rubbing it. You can do this or you can also use a pillow too. The goal is to put the person lying down on the floor into a hypnotic state. As you're continuing to chant Red Door Yellow Door, any other color door, you're going to ask them what they see. If they see people, they should not speak to them. That's generally evil. If they feel positive about a certain door, they can open it. But it really is important that they tell you what they see. If they open a door and they find themselves in a room with a bunch of clocks, they need to get out of there immediately. If you don't leave, you're going to be stuck in that hypnotic state for a long, long time. If the person playing describes seeing a man in a suit, you need to wake them up immediately. If they encounter any danger and die in the hypnotic or dreamlike state, then they will die. That's crazy. Mm. If you watch my past videos, you know, I don't really mess with anything that has to do with chanting or mirrors none of that so i haven't played that game if you've played that game tell me about what happened because 
I'm super interested in it. I'm just a big... We'll see. <laughs> Let me know if you're braver than me. Chilling facts. Why in your house and no one's around to feed your pets? They'll start with your squishy parts. Being your ears, eyes, nose, and even lips. This actually happened to an older woman. The only difference was she wasn't dead. She was just paralyzed. You are 120 times more likely to be killed by a family member if you win the lottery. When decapitated, you're actually alive for three more seconds before you end up dying. It has enough poison to kill 10 to 15 people in its lifetime. This frog is known as the poison golden dart frog, and it's located in the Pacific coast of Colombia. By just barely touching this frog, it'll secrete enough poison to kill a grown man in 10 to 15 minutes. Brain-eating amiibos exist, and they're living in our water. Naglory Flowlaria brain-eating disease is found in warm lakes, rivers, and of course, untreated swimming pools. This amiibo enters your body through your nose, and travels up to your brain from there. Over 97% of these cases are fatal. Mole on the headboard in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Disneyland is real. This is the youngest mother in history. Lena Medina was five years, seven months old when she gave birth to her six-pound son. A woman donated her kidney to her boss to save his life. He then fired her because it took her too long to recover from the operation. That's what you call a bad person. These are videos you can never watch at night. Okay, so we all know how there's some videos that you just can't watch at night because they're that scary. Well, in this series, I'll be showing all of those videos, so be ready to get terrified. Bring it. Okay, the video I'm about to show you was captured from a dash cam inside of a cab in Japan. And it clearly shows a ghost getting inside. And apparently in Japan, the ghosts of the people who died in the 2011 tsunami don't know they're dead and they get into taxis confused. This video is absolutely terrifying and here it is. Sad. If all the people that died in that tsunami are ghosts. Okay, whoa. so that's absolutely terrifying. I don't know what to think about this, but all I know is I'm not sleeping tonight. So apparently Disney World is haunted. There are park attendants Duh. that claim in the Mission Space ride in Disney World you can see ghostly figures. I talk about it in today's episode, but this actually makes a lot of sense. So when Mission Space first opened, it was the most controversial ride ever opened in Disney's history. If you've never ridden the ride, it's a motion simulator that simulates a trip to Mars. The original version doesn't exist anymore, but when it opened, it was so intense. In the first three years alone, 194 people had the paramedics called. They were getting sick, they were dizzy, people were passing out, and all Disney did was add barf bags and a motion sensor that sounds warning. sick. But because of that, two people ended up dying on the ride, including a little boy. And park attendants That's who have worked so on the ride say that it's been haunted ever since. Especially in Bay 3, where a ghostly figure of a little boy can be seen running around. They also say that one day just a tiny handprint appeared on one of the vents. The ride also reportedly has a ton of technical issues, but if you say the boy's name and ask him to stop playing, apparently they stop. Who wants to go to Disneyland? All right. Edwin Becker was born in Chicago, Illinois in 1945. Natural, and most people treat the subject lightly. Most people are skeptics and they're not interested or concerned in the mysterious things which sometimes occur around them. However, today we have the story of one family which says it was forced into becoming concerned. Strange things begin happening. Lights would go out, and electrical problems plagued the house. Doors would open and close on their own, and kitchen objects would shift across the countertops. Getting creeped out now. Tried to find a logical explanation for everything that happened, and uh, we couldn't. Edwin and Marcia were awakened by the disembodied crying of an old woman in the dining room. The only thing they could both agree on was that the house needed to be exercised. The NBC news crew later arrived, and their work led to the first U.S. television broadcast of an exorcism. What? Have you ever tried the Charlie Charlie Challenge? If not, then listen closely. To summon Charlie, you must take two pencils or pens, forming a plus sign on paper. Then, in each corner of the paper, diagonally opposite each other, you write yes and no. Then the stage is set, the scene is ready, and now it's time to invite our ghostly guest. By asking, Charlie Charlie, are you there, the spirit of Charlie is supposedly called upon. Charlie, if present, could choose to answer your yes or no questions, supposedly spinning the top pencil to point to his responses. But beware, this game is reportedly dangerous and potentially even deadly. AI is getting out of hand, 
and here's why. About a week ago, a mother living in Arizona received a phone call, and when she answered, it was her daughter crying and begging her mother to save her. She was obviously confused and terrified, and when she questioned her, a man got on the phone. He demanded $1 million or else her daughter would get harmed. She was absolutely horrified. It was a parent's worst nightmare. But then she remembered her daughter was actually upstairs. It turned out a random guy was using AI to scare and to scam people. If AI could do this, who knows what other terrifying things it could do. But my question is, what do you guys think? I'm sorry, NASA just found what? Oh god, what's happening now? Oh god. This is a NASA spacecraft which is 19,000 feet above the surface of Jupiter. Now you probably know Jupiter is huge as a gas planet and it's a bloody long way away. Take a look at this photo which the spaceship captured today. A mysterious green light coming from the planet, like what the hell is that? Apparently it's believed to be lightning, but who actually knows? This hasn't been proven yet and people are still looking into it. But who knows? Hit that follow button and I will keep you updated. Have you Wild. ever heard of a cargo cult? No. World War One. there's soldiers moving across different countries and different areas and they go to make camp one time. They meet an indigenous tribe. Well, they trade things with them like medicine, food. Yeah, these like you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Exactly. And these indigenous people saw how advanced these soldiers were mm -hmm. and like their medicine helped them live mm -hmm. longer and all these advancements and they thought that it was a gift from a gift from yeah. above mm -hmm. eventually after the war ends these soldiers leave but these indigenous people don't really understand it like yeah. why these people just left and they want them to come back yeah because so they, they took all their stuff with them exactly huh? and so they actually recreate a lot of the stuff they saw at the time when the soldiers were visiting they've made airplanes that not workable work? ones oh. but like they've made like life-size looking like airplanes out of like bamboo and all these other things they've made a satellite a huge oh. satellite dish with like hey and there's even a video of them with flames and everything making like a runway with a person like oh. doing this trying to think like maybe if, if they, they do, do that this, it'll make it happen th they'll come back that is so sad this is a haunted city hidden that beneath edinburgh and despite my best efforts my bosses are sending me underground to what has been described by the bbc as one of the most haunted places in britain these are the south bridge vaults buried under the city is a labyrinth of tunnels where the seedy underbelly of 18th century edinburgh thrived they were originally created as storage vaults for the businesses above ground but they were soon taken over by people seeking shelter or criminals seeking concealment and this place was not somewhere you came to live but somewhere you came to die the vaults are dark damp and freezing cold they used to be lit with fish oil lamps which combined with the stench of stale waste and chamber pots made them barely habitable and yet it is estimated that over 3,000 people lived down here and there seems to be some people left behind the cobbler is a ghost who has been seen working in this corner he particularly hates people with white shoes like me because it meant you were rich enough to be carried through the streets in one of these 18th century taxis and worst of all is the watcher. He's said to be seen standing in the corner just staring and watching, but the longer you linger the more aggressive and territorial he becomes, and many people have been sick and emerged covered in bruises and scratches. Have a good day! Well, there you have it folks, day 26 in the books. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure and check out the entire TikToktober series playlist right over here, and don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to, don't forget to, I can do words. And don't forget to subscribe right over there. And if you haven't already, give this video a like down below. Appreciate it. And until next time, which is tomorrow. Peace.